Hi, first grade. Well, guess what we're going to be making? We're going to be making spiders in a spider web using line patterns and learning how to repeat a pattern using line. It's going to be so exciting. So let's get to it, shall we? So today we're going to be making a spider in a spider web. So the first thing we need to make is the web. And the way we're going to do that is by creating a line pattern. And the first thing you're going to get started with is a pencil. So in the corner, I want you to draw a straight line. You can use a ruler if you like. I'm going to just use freehand, okay? So you can use your rulers to make these straight lines. So I'm making one that goes out towards the corner of the page, making one that goes down to the middle of my page, and then I'm going to do one more that goes all the way down off my page like this. So you can see I have one, two, three, going from the top corner of my paper all the way down. You see? Now, to make that web look, you have to do the, the cloud line. It's kind of like a cloud line, you see? So I'm gonna start up here, I'm gonna start small, and I'm gonna connect. So every time I connect, I'm going down and back up again. Down, up, down, up, and I'm kind of going in a curve, you see? So I'm gonna do it again. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So I know it's kind of hard because of pencil, okay? So if I were to do this with marker, you would stick out a little better, but you'll see with the pastel in just a minute. So down, 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 and you see the spacing? I have a good amount of space between each line. Down, going across, then across again, down, across, down, across. Oh, that's a big stretch. So those lines are your targets, right, and the edge of the paper going across again and I'm gonna go a little bit further here okay boom, boom. boom. Down. 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 I think I'll do one more down Across. so now we have our line pattern you see we went all three lines across in the corners, and then we did boom, boom, boom across, and now it's starting to look like a snazzy spider web. So here is the fun part. We just get to trace with a white pastel. So take your lines and just take your time and smoothly go across. So like I did in the beginning, I had my white lines, my three white lines went in the corner, right? So I had the one that went across diagonal, that went across to the other corner of the page. Then I had one that went up here towards the top corner. Oops, I went off a little bit, no biggie. And then I'm gonna go down here. And there, I have my three lines. Now again, with the line pattern, we're gonna do the cloud type line, right? And every time we hit that little, the line that went across, we're gonna stop. So we're gonna go down, down, Voila, there is my spider web. Yay, we did it, good job. All right, so now here comes the spider. So for the spider, you're gonna wanna take that white pastel again. And you're gonna wanna do a medium sized circle about this big. And then we're gonna do a small circle about this big. Then I want you to just make a circle on the inside like this. And you're gonna color, watch this, everything except for the inside, so that's his eyeball. Then I'm going to do another one. Maybe his smiles. You don't have to make your smiles. Okay, so we're going to leave his legs alone. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Now you want to take your scissors and you want to cut your spider out following those white lines. And 
And look at there's my spike. And now I'm gonna cut out his legs. So to cut out his legs, you just want to make a nice box about this thick. Because a spider has eight legs, okay? So I'm gonna cut out a rectangle about this big. And then I'm gonna go one, But there's four, but I need eight. Well, get this, four plus four is eight. So if I cut these guys in half, I'll have eight legs. So I'm gonna put them all together, and then I'm gonna go right in the middle of those legs and cut. Did you see what I just did there? I made eight legs. Let's find out, one, two, three, Four, one, two, three, four. Oh, look at there's my spider! Yay! And now here comes the fun part the glue. So, the first thing you want to glue down are your legs. So, you're just going to lift them up and place it down with a glue stick with regular glue, whatever we have at the moment. Boom. Ta -da. There's one set. And then I gotta make sure my spider, so I'm gonna glue his belly. So there he is, there's his body. But I gotta make sure his legs fit in the same spot, right? So, and you could glue the legs on the body to make it easier, if it's easier for you. One, two, three, four. Ta-da, and now I'm gonna glue his body on. Oh, look! Well, I'm gonna move his body up a little bit more. There we go. And there's my spider! Yay, I did it! What do you guys think? I can't wait to see your artwork. Good job, first grade. <laughs>